As always, when a new event arrives, it's time for me to make my classic Is This Event Worth Farming For video. So today's or uh, this month's event is the good old USS Mirror of Involation. The first USS event to have a UR Gacha ship, New Jersey. So yeah, that's a, so a wild one. The second UR Gacha ship event in this game is this one. Anyways, I'm not going to talk too much about it. Let's cut right into the chase. So as always, I just like to split up this topic into categories. Um, veterans, uh, mid-tier players, and early game players. Now, is this event worth farming for? The question here is very, very uh, different depending on the kind of player you are. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut to the chase. I'm going to talk about each category in particular. So we'll start with the uh, veteran players. Is this event worth farming for? Now, if you've been playing this game for like a year plus, um, a year and a half plus, you probably have everything from this event. There's nothing for you to really, really farm. The biggest takeaway from farming this event is most likely going to be the washing machines. The washing machines being a very, very good auxiliary for many, many types of ships, heavy cruisers, um, some light cruisers and stuff like that to fit the requirements. You can get a lot of evasion from this. This helps out for event farming and whatnot because there's some requirements that require you like to have like um, 80 evasion or something and you just can't slot that in. Like you just can't slot in the, uh, the ships to get the 80 evasion. So what you do here is you can farm for washing machines. Washing machines, they're very, very great. Now, again, you get these primarily from researches that you guys should be doing on a daily basis. You should get a lot of these. Um, they're, they come from like PR1, I mean PR1, PR2, PR3, they're basically everywhere. So if you're a veteran player, you should have a lot of these. Meaning if that's all that is to offer for this event, which is basically, yeah, um, you don't need to farm this event. There is no need for you to farm this event at all. So if you're a veteran player, you have a lot of washing machines, you don't need it. Um, beat D2, Hellcats, there's better fighters right now. Um, the Belfast guns, I'm pretty sure you guys have them from boxes or whatever. You don't need them. Now let's go to C3. C3, you have comets, they're kind of whatever. And you have C2, C2 steam catapults, but again, boxes. Boxes have basically everything you guys need from uh, these uh, these maps or whatever. So. I wouldn't worry about it too much. If you're opening boxes, you've been doing a lot of research, you basically have all the gear from this event. Now, obviously, there's still the uh, the SSR ship drop, which is uh, the other SX class. If you want to farm for her only, grab it, go for it, and you should be good to go. But most of you guys, again, ha if you're a veteran player, you have all these things, it is not worth farming for at all. Now, if you're a mid-tier player, uh, you've, been, you've been playing for like maybe six, eight months now, roughly around there. You're probably lacking some gear. This event is pretty good for farming for. You can have more steam catapults. Recommend farming for those. Uh, don't recommend farming for comets. I don't recommend farming for um, bell. Well, you can farm Belfast guns. There's a lot of there's a lot of 45 firepower auxiliary guns out there. But Belfast gun is definitely one of the common ones out there. And you get these a lot from boxes. But I would not farm D1. There's better maps to farm out there. But if you can't farm that map, um, it's fine. So on D2, we have Hellcats. The Hellcats, they're okay. But you can buy a monthly course there from the uh, core data. So I don't, worry, I don't worry about it too much. And again, if you need washing machines from D3, get a couple of these. Maybe about, I don't know, 10 might be okay. I use 6 personally, but 10 maybe max. Um, farm some up these. D3 is pretty good for farming if you need these, so highly recommend farming for. And if you're a early game player and you're a new player, obviously you can't farm these maps, you can farm A. Um, a doesn't have anything super, super spectacular, just high tier purples and whatnot, uh, so those are fine to farm. If you need fighters, farm B2. If you need the SX drop, which I think most of you guys do, farm B3. There's also purple barracudas in the uh, B3 as well. And that's pretty much it. You have some purple gear from B1 that are pretty okay. A3 I would skip. Purple steam catapults in A2. And A1 has just a lot of like fire extinguishers and the uh, purple uh, 410 or whatever for one of the oldest uh, fast HE guns or whatever. So I would say farm B3. Get that. And then just tackle about whatever you want to farm. I say farm B3 because you get a lot of experience, more SX drops or whatever. 
I would say farm here. It's up to like probably level 56 or whatever. So you're probably okay there. Now, now that I covered the basics, because this event is very, very simplified, there's nothing too crazy about it for most people, except newer players. Let's talk about the shop. The shop here is the big one. So shop, I'm gonna talk about this. Most of you guys, I, and I recommend, actually I'm not gonna split this up. Let's, let's just talk about this in general. The gun. The gun is exactly what a lot of people should be getting as of right now because this gun right here is the current best bossing HE gun in the game. It is the current best in slot. Now, I praised the old 406 MK6 for a very, very long time. Uh, it was my go-to gun for probably almost two and a half years now. But now that gun has lost a spotlight. Obviously, the Monarch gun is like slightly better as well. But there's no way I'm going to invest into that for like slightly better. But the uh the new gun right here that you get from the shop the uh 406 mk7 it is super super good compared to the uh old 406 mk6 i'm not going to compare with the monarch gun the monarch gun is like slightly better than the 406 mk6 uh but compared to the rainbow uh, 406 mk7 big difference we have 11 more damage on shells that's about i don't know roughly eight to nine percent damage increase with that and there's a 40 firepower gap right here so we have the shell damage being 11 more and we have 40 firepower that's a lot 40 firepower advantage is a lot that's a lot of damage and that's a lot of stats right there so give or take uh, the new gun right here at plus 10 compared to the 406 MK6 purple plus 10 is about 15%, I believe. 15, maybe 20%, roughly around there, give or take. But it is a significant damage increase, and I highly recommend that everyone, every living being in this game, no matter if you're a veteran, new player, fetus, dragon, elf, dwarf, buy this gun. It is very, very worth it. And that should be your highest priority going into this event shop. If you have 10,000 points, buy those guns. Buy those guns. Now, obviously, if you don't have the SX drop, buy her as well. But I recommend farming for her because 8,000 points is a lot. Farm for her. Gear skin boxes, you don't really need those. Uh, go, uh, gold gear boxes, if you're a new player, buy these. You'll get some nice boosters for gears and whatnot, so get those. Cog chips, unless you're like a very, very high-end player like myself where I'm running out of cog chips, buy these as well. Otherwise, skip on those. Cat boxes, always nice to grab as well for EXP. But for most of you guys, just grab the yellow ones. And as always, buy the uh, prints and buy the purple plates if you're a new player. Buy the uh, coins, oil, and the cola as well. So, biggest priority is the gun. After that, you guys know the basics. Next priority goes to the prints, the cats. After that, just do whatever you guys want. If you're a new player, buy the plates and the gear boxes. If you're a mid-tier and end-game player, just buy the uh, prints buy the uh, cap, the, the, well, the SSR cap boxes, uh, buy your resources right here. If you need cola as well, buy those and just buy whatever you need to fill up after that. Cap boxes, if you need those, gear skin boxes, if you want cosmetics and plates, if you want more plates because some of you guys just don't farm world six plus or whatever. So uh, that's my take for this event. Um, not bad because it is easy to farm, but not great either because there's not any like new gear here aside from the shop gun, but you can just buy that one time for 10,000 points and you're good to go. So uh, I want to stick around too much, but obviously if you're going for, if you're going for the 50,000 points for the UR um, prints or prints or whatever, which I highly recommend a lot of people that don't have um, developer 30, Drake, FDG or Ozma to go for 30 points, uh, grab that. Otherwise, the shop is kind of kind of whatever, though. The biggest takeaway here is the gun. Buy that gun. It is very, very good. It's the new best in slot for HG bossing. Highly recommend it. And then just grab the usual stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good luck farming out there. And uh, good luck with your gacha banner as well. Because uh, everyone wants a very, very nice uh, L2D uh, Gundam. Or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> she even cost you honey. <laughs>